And then verse 15, similar. For if their rejection, that is to say the Jewish rejection of Jesus, the, the mainstream Jewish rejection, as things stand, maybe it's going to change, but it, for now. But if that rejection brought reconciliation to the world, it brought the gospel out to the nations, what will their acceptance be? That is to say, what, what, if, what if the Jews came, come to Jesus? Or if many Jews come to Jesus? Or just one and two? Or some? That's fine too. That what will that be but life from the dead? Life from the dead. A very positive expression of resurrection. Now, life from the dead could mean literal resurrection. Um, the great resurrection at the end of time. Uh, actually, it's not the regular word that is used for that, but it could mean that. So that some believe there will be a great return of many Jews to Jesus, and then the resurrection will take place when Jesus returns, and that will be the end of the age. That will be the beginning of the new creation. Well, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm not, that's wonderful, of course. Now, I think there is, there is a difficulty with that view, though, uh, uh, as well as it not being the regular word that is used for, um, for resurrection, which is actually the word from which we get Anastasia, because Anastasis in Greek means to stand up again, and it's the word for resurrection, but a different word is used here in the original language. But the other difficulty, I think, with that view is that you might then say to yourself, well, now, clearly this hasn't happened yet. The Jews haven't come back to Jesus in great numbers. I don't think anybody could say that. So, therefore, Jesus can't be coming back today. He can't be coming back soon. And so it might affect your readiness if you were to be consistent and say, well, that sign hasn't been fulfilled. And yet I think as Christians we, we believe, don't we, that Jesus could return any time. He could return today. He will come like a thief in the night. And I think it's a problem for all the signs of the times, approaches to the end of the world. And many Christians have grown up with this idea that there are particular signs that need to be fulfilled, ticked off, and then Jesus will return. The danger with that is that you look at the world and you think, well, that hasn't happened yet, so it can't be today. And it can't be soon. And so you, you're not going to prepare yourself, perhaps, or you're not ready. Now, I think, I think all the Christians I know who, who maybe take, take this view do believe that Jesus can come back at any time. But I think there's a bit of an inconsistency there. I, I think I'm fairly sure for myself, I'm still working on it, and I'm, I don't have a perfect understanding, I could be wrong, that the signs of the times approach were signs of the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, and they were all fulfilled to the letter. And ever since that, we're to expect Jesus like a thief in the night, who could come at any time, regardless of the state of the world, regardless of whether all the Jews have come, lots of Jews have come to Jesus, it could happen at any time. And so every generation has had that expectation. You see, if it, was, if it was only when masses of Jews come to Jesus, then every generation from the beginning of the church to now would have had to say, well, it can't be now. It can't be coming now. So they wouldn't have had that expectation. But the New Testament it gives us that anticipation. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be very soon. So life from the dead, I think, could also refer, there's two other possibilities, to spiritual life from the dead. Now, Romans is full of this idea that resurrection is not just physical resurrection at the end of time, how wonderful, but also a spiritual resurrection in my heart and your heart when we trust in Christ. So it could be a reference to spiritual resurrection when someone becomes a Christian and is born again and gets a new heart, and that's true for Jewish people or Gentile people or, or anyone. That could be the, the meaning of life from the dead. Or it could simply be an expression, a kind of a, a figurative expression of something really good. I think we almost use it in English, don't we? Oh, that's life from the dead. Something that revitalizes and refreshes the church. What a blessing it is to the church when Jewish believers become followers of their Messiah, of our Messiah. Now, all of these are possible understandings of life from the dead, and they're all wonderful, aren't they? They're all very positive 
and very good. But let's not miss the main point here. Jewish people coming to Jesus in small numbers or large numbers are a great blessing and enrichment to the church because they are like the natural branches being grafted back into the tree that, where they belong to make it more fruitful than ever. And I think we do see in these wonderful videos, I encourage you to watch some of them, that their faith can be so strong because they can see so naturally, so readily, so easily in Jesus that the fulfillment of everything, their sacrifices, the Passover, the prophets, all the prophecies, it all clicks in him, it comes together. And this makes them have a very strong faith and a wonderful testimony. What a wonderful blessing it is to the church when Jews come to follow Jesus.